Hello. I've had a few people asking about the custom movement with Dynamic Combat System, so I decided I would go ahead and do a quick video tutorial on merging the two together. So first thing you want to do is open up the custom movement folder and locate the skeleton. And we're just going to delete the skeleton. You don't want to force delete it. You want to make sure you re replace references here with your combat mannequin. The skeleton combat mannequin. And the next thing you want to do is open up your BP combat character. And we want to add the component here in the components tab. And also go to your class settings. And we want to add the BPI custom movement character interface. And now that should add three new interface functions down here. We want to open up this one and check this value to true. Go to get custom movement and add the component here. And now create a new macro. We'll just name it is custom movement. Get your custom movement component. Drag off of here and type is custom movement. get a branch now we can easily use this to tell whether or not the custom movement is active or not Now we need to go to our input events. And we can just place that macro right in here. We want that connected to false. We only want to have our normal input if custom movement is not active. <coughs> if it is active, we need to get our custom movement component. and add custom movement input up. Plug your axis value from the move forward. 
And this one plugs into true. Now we'll do the same thing down here on the move right. In this one we need the add custom movement input right. Now we want to do the same thing for the roll and jump. You don't want to be able to roll and jump while you're on there. And you might need to end up adding that to a few more places. It's possible you might need to add it onto some attacks and stuff. Because so you don't want to be anything you don't want to be able to do while you're climbing, just throw that macro there in front of it. So if it's false, we will do our roll or our jump. And if it's true, you can either do nothing or you can have it jump off. And to do that, we need our components. Exit custom movement. And then let's do the same thing for our jump. The stop jumping shouldn't interfere with it at all, we just need it on the pressed. Now we want to right click just in an empty area in our main event graph and get the event update custom movement. Call our component and update custom movement. And plug in the delta time. And we can collapse this into its own little graph. And we should be done now inside of the combat character. Now we need to open up the animation blueprint.
in the animations folder, AVP combat character, Let's also open up the custom movement animation blueprint. Okay, I thought the slot node was in here. I guess it's not. So you just create a default slot here and set it to custom movement in the details panel. We'll just cut this and bring it over to the combat character. You could just create it in here also, but that's just another way to do it. Okay, it looks like it had to close and reopen to add it there, but it does add the slot that way. And then right click and get a linked anim graph. And set the instance class here to the ABP custom movement. And then plug these two in, just how they are here. I think that is everything we need to do. Let's double check it. We're just going to go into the custom movement and open up the demo map. And we'll go to our world settings, set the game mode to DCS game mode so that our combat character spawns in. There we go, now we're able to climb. And if you hit jump, you should jump off of there. Alright, I hope that's helpful for you guys. See you later.